first question will go to uh, Brian Hedger. Go ahead, Brian. Hey, boom. Uh, congratulations on the new contract. Uh, it's good Thanks, to have, have you still around here. Um, I, just, I guess I'm just wondering, you know, uh, <laughs> some of these moves that we've seen, um, it seems like, you know, that, that this team is, is clearly, you know, kind of going through a, a makeover or a rebuild, how, or however you want to say it. Um, why, why did you want to stick around longer here? Yeah, no, I, I mean, I love Columbus. I love everything about it. Um, I wanted to stay here. Um, I think, you know, as you go through your career, I mean, guys you've played with and, and whatnot, um, are going to go to other teams and things are going to happen. But, um, you know, talking with the guys that we've traded for and signed and everything like that, uh, it makes it pretty exciting. Um, everyone's getting ready to go. And, uh, obviously we want to get back to, to where we are and, and compete in the playoffs. So, um, no, I, I'm, you know, like I said, I love Columbus, everything about it. And, um, just thrilled to be back with, um, you know, the group here. Yeah, I, mean, I, I would imagine that, you know, from your perspective, if you're going to sign a deal like this one, you feel like this team can get back there pretty quick to where you want to be. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, it's it's tough when you lose guys, um, you know, that you know so well or have played with so well and, and kind of grown up together. And um, but like I said, the um, you know the other guys that we got uh, in exchange or traded for or signed, um, you know, they all are so excited as well. So um, you know, we're excited to just get together as a group here, and, um, you know, work through it and um, you know start training camp and uh, obviously some fresh faces and. Um, looking forward to that. Thank you. Okay. Next, we'll go to Clay Hall. Go ahead, Clay. Hey, Boone. Uh, congrats. I don't, maybe this is unfair, but Hedge and some others have said you're captain material. Would you accept if they offered? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think, um, you know, it's something I take a lot of pride in is, uh, you know, being a leader. Um, you know, it doesn't, you know, matter about anything like that I don't think I'm going to change as a as a person a player or a teammate um, you know I think uh, the way I want to you know go about it is the same as I always do um, so uh, no I mean it's definitely something you know when when you see guys um, you know that leave that have been a big part of that or or big part of that leadership group it's an opportunity for myself and, and guys to step up in that role and um, it's a new challenge and opportunity that way for sure. Thanks. Okay. Next, we'll go to Aaron Portsline. Go ahead, Aaron. Thanks, Glenn. Hey, Boone, has there been any talk specifically about you become, becoming captain? No. No. Okay. And what, what do you think it's going to be like stepping into that room uh, in, the, in the fall? I, I know you're looking forward to it. A lot of people that are, that are anticipating it, and there's reason for excitement for sure, but to not have the, the prominent voices that have been there in the past, the Felinos, the Savards, the, uh, you know, Seth Jones, I could go on here. How, how different do you think it's going to be uh, just with the voices that are heard and the people who are kind of in charge? Yeah, it's, it's definitely different. Like you said, um, you know, going back to last year with, with Nikki and, and Savvy and then most recently with Cam and Seth, um, you know, going on to different teams. It's, uh, it's different when you, you get so used to, you know, playing and like I said, growing up together and, and you seem to know each other so well, but um, at the same time, it's an opportunity. It's, um, you know, you take a lot from those guys and, and, and I have learned a lot um, from each of them. So um, it's an opportunity and a challenge to, um, you know, take a hold of and, and bring this group together, um, you know, come September, uh, bring this group together, um, bond everyone. So, uh, we can get right back to it and, and right back to where we want to be as a group. And Boone, before you signed your extension, did you have conversations with management here? Just what is the direction? What is the expectation? What's the plan? So you feel like you know what you're signing up, up for here. Did you need that clarity? I think, um, you know, as far as that goes, I think we're, uh, we want to get back in the playoffs. Like I said earlier, that's, that's our goal. We're going to get, um, you know, a group, I, like you said, different faces and whatnot in September, but uh, the goal doesn't change. We're, we're going after it, um, you know, right away, right from day one, I'm sure, um, you know, everyone's chomping at the bit after last year, 
um, the guys that were here. So we're excited to get back and, and get going that way and, and prove ourselves. Thanks, Ben. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. And next we'll go to Mark Shai. Go ahead, Mark. Thanks, Glenn. Boone, congratulations on the new contract. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Of course. Um, just a lot of talk about the perception of Columbus. You've already said that you love it here. What can you do now as one of the main voices in the room to help others that kind of come in here to say that Columbus can be a place that you can stay long term? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, I, I think in, you know, at the end of the year there in the media, I kind of touched on it and just, you know, some of the stuff that's, that's said about Columbus and the city of Columbus and stuff in the media, um, you know, definitely rubs me the wrong way. So I'm um, a guy that's, that's been here, um, you know, eight years now. And then, um, you know, it's, it's a tremendous city and, and the organization and everything. So uh, I don't agree with it. I'm, I'm obviously, you know, doing my best, um, you know, with other guys and stuff, I guess, to um, show them around and show them the city and, and everything that comes with it. So, um, yeah, I just love it. And, and, and I don't agree with, you know, I guess a lot of those opinions, I guess, that Columbus or the city or whatever you want to call it gets. And Boone, a new coaching staff, how excited are you to work with Brad Larson and the staff that um, has been developed there? Yeah, no, I, I'm thrilled to, to, to see that. And, uh, you know, obviously I know Lars just from um, he's been here. I think seven years as the assistant coach and, and I had him in Springfield. So I've known him, um, you know, quite a long time. And, um, you know, you could see, you know, right when I met him, he's got those head coach qualities and I think he's grown and, um, you know, very deserving and, and ready for the role. So, um, you know, we're going to, you know, I'm sure talk some more in, in, in the next coming months and leading up to camp and um, what we want to do and how we're going to play and, and everything as a team. So, uh, looking forward to that and, uh, and also meeting the other coaches that, uh, that came on board. Thanks, Ben. Congratulations. Thanks. Okay. Next, we'll go back to Brian Hedger. Go ahead, Brian. Hey, Boone, you guys also uh, uh, signed Sean Corrali today. Was it in addition to the room? I know you guys, you faced him in those playoffs that we all remember in 2019. Do you know him at all? And, and what do you think about that signing as well? Yeah, I mean, I've uh, met him a few times in Columbus, um, you know, when he's back for the summer and, and I'm in Columbus in the summer, um, either skating or whatever it is. Um, so I've met him a handful of times that way. Uh, know what he's, you know, kind of his personality a little bit, but I'm looking forward to playing with him and um, my more so, you know, know him uh, uh, playing against him and um, what he brings uh, on the ice. And, and that's what I'm most excited about too. So um, it's awesome for him. I mean, obviously coming home and, and everything like that. But, um, you know, we got a great, great piece there that uh, we're, you know, looking forward to playing with him. Do, do you feel like he's a kind of a tough guy to play against? Yeah, he is. I mean, um, you've seen it in that playoff series. Um, he does, you know, seems to do all those little things right and, um, you know, brings a lot of energy in. Um, I think he'll fit right in with us. Um, like I said, knowing I'm a little bit off the ice, but, but on the ice, I'm sure he'll, uh, you know, fit right in with us and, and looking forward to uh, getting to meet him and, and going through it with him. Thank you.